Lesson 14 Spoilage and Wastage of Food Hello children, have you ever tasted the cooked vegetables or milk etc that has been left for a long time? If the smell or appearance of the cooked food changes, it is no longer wholesome and fit to be consumed. Let us perform an activity. Take a piece of bread or chapati. Sprinkle some water on it and keep it in a dark corner. Observe it after two to three days. You can see a fluffy growth or blue-green patches on it. This is bread mould, a kind of fungus which spoils the bread or chapati. Presence of moisture and absence of air are the two main causes for decay of bread. Dry fruits, cereals, spices and pulses do not decay easily because they do not contain water. Food spoilage can be prevented by preserving the food properly. Some methods of food preservation are adding preservatives like sodium benzoate, oil, salt and sugar to prepare jams, jellies, pickles and murabbas. Cheese, meat and cooked vegetables are wrapped in polythene package with no air in it. Canned fruits and rasgullas are stored by heating the food, removing air and then sealing the can immediately. Boiling kills the germs that spoil the food. Dried vegetables and milk powder are the examples of dehydrated food items. Meat, pears, etc. are frozen. Low temperature slows down the growth of germs. Pasteurization is also a method of food preservation. In this method, milk is boiled to a high temperature for 10 minutes and then suddenly cooled to a very low temperature. Food is precious and should not be wasted. Millions of people die of hunger and starvation. So, never leave food uneaten in your plate. Take only that much food which you can eat.